What's up everyone? This is the how to checkerboard lace video by Lace Anchors. Didn't know which shoe to use and what color laces so I just cruised down to Journeys and I picked up a bunch of different color laces and actually grabbed these women's high top. These are uh, rebound highs and they're a DC shoe. They're actually pretty clean looking. I like them because they're simple. I, I kind of like how checkerboard lacing looks on a simpler shoe without so much going on because it just makes the laces kind of pop out at you. But anyways, it pretty much works with any kind of shoe that you want to use it with. There's a few key or critical things when you're checkerboard lacing. Um, every checkerboard pattern starts out with bar lacing and that's what actually secures your foot to your shoe. The, the pink ones that are running up and down here kind of just sit there and don't do much as far as holding your shoe on but the blue ones that are going back and forth, the bar lacing, is very critical that you have a secure fit right there because that's what's going to maintain this look. Um, with the lace anchors you can see how clean it is inside this shoe. We don't have a bunch of knots in there, bows. You can see this is where my, uh, my bar lacing ended and I actually took all the excess or extra lacing and just went and put it underneath the insole of the shoe. You can actually trim it right here if you wanted to but uh, a lot of people don't want to trim their laces and they prefer to just put it under the insole and you can go that way too. You can see how solid this is. I mean this isn't going anywhere. This pattern is going to stay like this because I have a solid foundation which is the bar lacing and I'll show you guys how to achieve that. Uh, that's going to be the first step in this video and I'm actually going to do the second shoe in, in one of these other colors. Not going to repeat this color, just uh, I'll pick some out and stay tuned. Alright, so let's get this first step of checkerboard lacing done and that's to get a solid bar lace done and I think on this shoe I'm going to go ahead and use the white and green laces. I'm actually going to lay down the white for our bar laces. And I'm going to take my pack of lace anchors, go ahead and open that up and your lace anchors come with four to a package. These are what's going to give you a shoe that's solid and that is not going to have a bunch of bows, laces, knots tied behind the tongue, a bunch of discomfort. You have nothing inside there. You can see how clean it is in this shoe. The, the lace anchor attaches to the shoelace here and all that extra lacing I have going underneath the sole of my shoe. You can actually trim it off right here if you don't want to put it underneath the sole. It's your choice. And there's an, a lace anchor installed down here under this eyelet and that's how we get our bar lace pattern. I'll go ahead and show you how to achieve that uh, right now. It's actually pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is take my lace and I'm going to take a lace anchor and I'm going to go through the center hole of this lace anchor. Then going to go through the top hole of the lace anchor. I'm then going to take it back down and through this bottom slot of the lace anchor. So you should have something that now looks like this. And what that does is attaches this lace anchor to your shoelace and doesn't allow it to pull out. What you're going to do is take your shoelace through the bottom and actually before I go on you can actually pull this through a little further if you want and trim this tip off if you want so that it's really flat you don't have anything hard like that behind the eyelet but on this shoe it's not going to affect you at all so I just leave it on there. You're going to go through from the inside and out of this bottom eyelet. Pull it all the way until your lace anchor is actually seated behind this eyelet. And you can see now it's solid in there. That's not coming out. And that's what is really important on checkerboard lacing is that you have a solid foundation, meaning that these bar laces are solid because that's what's going to hold your foot inside of this shoe. That's where all the tension is going to be. The pink ones or the, the, the lines that are running up and down or vertical, those are going to do nothing for you. Those aren't going to help you hold your shoe on. It's just giving you the look. That's it. So once you get that lace anchor installed, you're going to take your shoelace straight across into the other eyelet. Now with lace anchors, the bar lacing method it's a little bit different than standard. You don't have to skip eyelets, go back and forth between holes. You start at the bottom and you work your way straight up to the top. It's really simple. Then I'm going to go straight into the hole right above and pull it out of that hole. And then go straight across and into this side. I'm going to take it right into the next hole right above there, pull it out, I'm going to go straight across and you repeat this up to the top as far as you want to go. I'll go ahead and fast forward up to the top here and uh, we'll take it from there. Alright, now you can see I just entered into the, the top eyelet that I want to go. I don't want to go any higher than this. Um, right here is where I'm going to finish off and I'll show you. I'm going to enter into this hole here 
And with the little ears on like a lot of the high tops, you could leave it hanging out if you want, or you can use it. I'm gonna actually go through it to pull it tight against the shoe and enter into my final hole right here. And now you can see that uh, I've got my bar lacing done. And what you wanna make sure when you're checkerboard lacing is you want you want it to be pretty straight because if the farther it goes out, the checkers aren't gonna line up. So you want this area to be pretty square and, and straight, if that makes sense. All right, now we're gonna install our second lace anchor. I'm gonna take this lace anchor through the center hole with my shoelace. I'm gonna slide this down until it's touching the inside of my eyelet right here, just like that. I'm then going to go through the top hole This is right where I want it to anchor, so that's what it should look like through the top hole. And then over the top little spikes on the lace anchor and into this bottom slot. And keep this nice and flat when you pull this through that bottom slot. Make sure that your lace isn't all twisted up and funky. It should look really clean and flat and that's what it should look like inside your shoe. It shouldn't be twisted, just straight and flat. Now at this point, I can either trim off the excess right here or I could tuck it underneath the tongue like I did in this shoe. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, just trim this one to show you guys what that looks like. Leave a good inch or so. Rotate this down in there. And now you can see if I wanted to just wear a bar laced shoe, this is what I'd have. This is my. Uh, my result and it's anchored, anchored here, anchored up here. You don't have to worry about it coming loose on you. This is solid inside that eyelet and you don't have a bunch of extra lacing in there. No knots or bows inside there to cause discomfort. You can see how clean this little lace anchor is here, tucked up against the inside of the shoe. Not going to, to affect you in any way. And that's the base or the beginning of checkerboard lacing. So stay tuned and I'll go ahead and show you the final step. All right, let's get the last step of this checkerboard lacing done, which is running the vertical lines or the lacing up and down to give you the checkerboard pattern. Um, you can see I let the laces hang out here on the top. I just think it looks clean. It's clean inside. You don't have any laces going to the inside of your shoe, but if you want to, you can run these to the inside instead if you don't want any laces hanging out here. Um, but I, I prefer it to, to look like this. I just think it looks good. It gives us more color and your laces are secure. So you don't have to worry about your shoelace or your shoelaces loosening up on you. Um, what you're going to do is take your line or lace that you're going to run up and down vertically. And you're going to actually go into the same eyelet, whichever one's at the top. So you can see on this one how I did it. I just ran back into that hole, which is what I'm gonna do right here on this shoe. So I'm gonna take my lace and I'm gonna force it through there. And these laces are all the same size, so I want it to hang out about that far. So what I'll do is take my shoelace through until it's about the same length. And I'll show you how to adjust these at the end. It's actually pretty simple. It's, uh, it's not too difficult to achieve. So I think I've got that at about the length that I want. And now I'm going to start my checkerboard pattern. So what I'm gonna do first is run this lace down underneath this first one here. So I went into that hole and I'm gonna take it underneath. And this is how I'm gonna start my pattern. Now I'm going under, so I'm gonna go over the next one and it's over under all the way to the bottom over under over under all the way to the base and just pull all this through make sure it's not twisted pull it over to the side and that's the beginning of your checkerboard lace then going to take it underneath the bottom of this lace here and you want to keep everything straight with checkerboard lace and that's what makes it look really clean take your time and uh, you'll appreciate the results over under over under up to the top here Make sure that you're not twisted up. If you are, just untwist it like this. And don't pull it too tight. You don't need to pull these super tight. Scoot it over. Bring it up over the top. This one, go over, under, over, under, over, under, all the way to the base. And 
And now you can see I've done three rows and I'm gonna continue this all the way to the end. I'll go ahead and fast forward to that point and show you how to finish this off. All right, now you can see I've just finished off my last one. I'm all the way up to the top. I'll go ahead and pull this back out for you so you can see. This is where I came up to the top. Now I'm just gonna go underneath this one one more time. Just like that. And then I'm going to pull this into this top eyelet. Kind of finish it off. Now you can see that this side is going to be a little bit shorter than this side, so I'm going to show you how to adjust checkerboard lacing. It's really actually pretty simple. So I'm just going to pull a little bit this way. I'm going to pull a little slack out from here. So you can see I have the slack here. So all you do is pull at the bases here, at the bottom, and it pulls all that slack, and then I'll pull on this row all the way back up to the top. So I'm just basically taking all the slack from this side and just continually pulling it all the way until it gets down at the other end of the shoe. So you don't have to redo the whole thing if, you're, uh, if your checkerboards aren't perfect. You can do it at the end and uh, it makes things simpler than redoing your whole lace pattern or checkerboard. Pull this out. So now you can see I should have quite a bit more slack and these should be about even. And that's it. I mean, it's that simple to get a good looking checkerboard pattern going. Um, you can adjust them sideways too. You can actually, it's pretty simple. You can kind of just pull the whole row if it's off centered and, and adjust as you need. And you can get them looking pretty, pretty perfect. You can see inside the shoe, there's not a bunch of laces in there, knots, bows. You can see my lace anchor tucked up against the side over here, nice and clean, and it's actually trimmed off. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope this helps you guys out a bunch. I couldn't find any other videos that, that show you, uh, a true checkerboard lace job and, and how it actually works and performs and what's holding your shoe in place. And I think this should help you guys out a lot and uh, should help show you how to finish it off and, and give you guys some good ideas. So grab yourself some shoes, a couple different color lace, uh, laces and a pack of lace anchors and uh, you could have some clean looking shoes like this as well. And it's, it's all your imagination, whatever colors you want to throw together. Um, obviously there's there's tons of, of different colors out there and you can make some uh, great looking checkerboard shoes make sure you go to our Facebook page and uh, like us because and make sure you follow us um, these shoes are actually going to be given away at one point during one of our weekly giveaways we're giving away lace anchors every week and we have some great prizes and things that we give away uh, throughout the year so make sure and like us and check out our YouTube channel subscribe to us and we're gonna keep on pumping videos out for you guys thanks for watching